Good morning, Reedsville Elementary Middle School students and parents. Hope you guys are gearing up for a new school year. Um, starting off with our newsletter, trying to read a book, back to school book for you. So here we go today. If you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. So let's read through this and get ourselves ready for back to school. <clears throat> if your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick or a bird's nest, or some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an alligator. If you bring an alligator anyway, she'll tell you that alligators are trouble. Oh, well, she's angry. You'll tell her that that's okay, and that you know all about alligators. This alligator will be quiet and good, and he won't eat anyone. Cross your heart. But during spelling, your teacher will hear laughing. This is because the alligator will be showing you funny pictures. Look at that funny picture. Your teacher will write your name on the board, Magnolia. And now you'll have to stand last in line for lunch. You'll take away the crayons and tell the alligator to be quiet and wait for show and tell. Then during art, an airplane will fly across the room. This is because the alligator will be showing you origami. Your teacher will draw a check by your name. Magnolia now has a check mark. And now you'll have to stay in from recess. You'll take away the paper and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. During math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. Uh-oh, not looking good. You'll give the alligator three pieces of your favorite gum and beg him to not eat anyone and for Pete's sake to wait for show and tell. The good thing is that you'll stop him from eating any kids. The bad thing is the alligator will smack and twirl the gum and your teacher will notice. She'll draw two more checks by your name. Magnolia, three checks and an underline. That's not good. You'll have to go to the principal's office after school. During lunch, you won't even get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble everything but the crust. By now, of course, you'll wish you brought a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator. By now, you'd rather have some dirt than an alligator. You wish this alligator would just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. First, at show and tell, you'll sit quietly and learn about hollow sticks and bird's nests and sparkly rocks. It'll be your turn. You'll tell how alligators are super big and how alligators have over 74 super sharp teeth and how alligators are super tough. It's a fact. They're strong and they're tough and they aren't scared of anything except other alligators, and humans. Booga, booga. Whoa, little scary picture going on here. Your teacher will be impressed. You might not even have to go to the principal's office for all the mischief that day. But then again, you might have to. Yeah, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. They're trouble. Hey, some great advice as we get ready to start the school year. I hope to see all of you in my office at some point to tell me all the great things you're doing. So have a great weekend, and let's, let's get started on the right note on Tuesday.